Are you having trouble getting to a second date? Like you can get phone numbers, you can get girls to meet you out. But when it comes to keeping them in the mix, you're having a hard time getting them out again. If so, watch this video. So first off, the fact that you can grab phone numbers and get girls to show up to a date, that's a skill. That's a skill that a lot of guys don't have and you should you know, feel good that you can at least accomplish that because many people are not even in those shoes. But when you see a girl in person and she can see what you're working with, she can feel your energy, she can hear the sound of your voice, she can see your facial expressions, she starts to learn about what your values are because you're sitting down talking and whatnot, and she doesn't want to see you again, it gives the impression that you know, you're doing something wrong in terms of either attraction or you're somehow you're turning the girl off. Now, there's a lot of reasons why this could be happening. Let's talk about you know, some of the possibilities. So first off, maybe you're not fun. And this is a skill that anybody can learn. You don't have to be the class clown to be a fun guy. Um, but if you're not being playful in your interactions, if you're not finding ways to almost like treat the dinner table like it's a playground, right? Like think about like maybe, you know, teasing her about something she's wearing or maybe something happens, you know, where you make a joke out of it, right? If you're not constantly finding ways to have fun with her, it's going to come off as boring. And for every guy that isn't fun, there's some other guy that's willing to provide that experience of fun for that girl. So don't be boring, be willing to play with her and take the risk. A lot of guys are afraid to take the risk of being the fun guy, but it's going to pay off if you take the risk. So another possible reason might be that you're talking too much. And kind of what you need to understand about dating is that the guy should be really only doing like 20% of the talking and the girl should be doing 80% of the talking. So what does this mean? It means you're the one asking the questions and that she's the one filling in the blanks you know, carrying on and carrying on. And that's going to give you more fuel to ask the next question. And she's going to feel better about the date because she got to talk about herself, which everyone loves to do. Now, one of the other reasons could be in the space that you do have to talk, you might try to impress her with some accomplishment of yours. So if you're talking about your, you know, the money that you made or maybe something that you did, or you're, you're trying anything to impress her aside from just being fun in the moment and let her being impressed by your character, that's going to come off as a turnoff and that girl's not going to want to hang out with you again. So never ever try to sweeten the deal with anything other than the value of just your personality. So no, no fancy restaurant, no flowers, no gifts, no talking about cool things about yourself unless it's just, you know, implicit. Okay. And some other possible reasons could be that you're rushing either the physical escalation you're rushing, trying to set the second date on the first date, which you got to wait. You don't do it right then and there. Or really just trying to do too much, you know, in that girl's direction. Drop your thoughts in the comments and check out my other videos.